holidays nale adu namma gt holidays da south india's number one travel brand join the team which values you and your thoughts hiring now hello and welcome to galata plus in this video review episode we are going to be talking about sandeep reddy vanga's animal the film makes a caveman psychopath its hero and becomes a mostly thrilling ode to our inner animalistic nature animal plays like subhash ghai's version of the godfather and i mean this in a mostly good way i'll add that to see the film this way you have to be like me a lover of pulp and a lover of excess in the trashy mario puzo novel and the classy coppola adaptation that followed a son becomes a criminal because of an attack on his father but what if there was a twist what if the son already had psychopathic criminal tendencies what if he was already a khalnayak what if at least some of these criminal tendencies stem from the father being distant which caused an almost pathological longing for daddy love which then manifested itself as territorial behavior what if the son is essentially telling the world if i cannot have a piece of my father then neither can anyone else not even the ones who want to kill him i use the word territorial deliberately ranbir kapoor who as vijay gives everything he's got to the role is the animal of the title and he sees his father as his territory a superbly in form and superbly in tune with the overheated material anil kapoor plays the father balbir singh but apart from a few overheated lines he is reduced to the weakened don corleone from the godfather a series of pained pathetic looks at what his son has become sandeep recreates many moments from the godfather like car explosion or the killing of a brother in law or the long opening set piece set during a celebration this is a birthday celebration or the search for the people who attacked the father and to this sandeep adds a gleeful pulp sensibility we never saw in arjun reddy the sensational pre interval fight combines men in animal masks a kabir doha and a cheeky made in india reference thanks to an automatic firing machine that acts like the biggest phallus in this movie that's essentially about overheated men waving their dicks around at times animal plays like a dark comedy think of the cheerfully vulgar joke about an animal in the opening scene which involves another phallic object a sword the anecdote tells us that we are what we are and our toxic animal nature cannot be civilized or tamed by love or any other such bullshit there are several laugh out loud moments like the echo of a joke involving pubic hair or the overhead shot of two fighting men that resembles two children fighting in school or the reveal of the bobby doll character occurring as vijay is finally using sign language after saying he does not want to use sign language there is a connection if you have good taste do not go near this movie you may feel like the critic rex reed did after watching brian de palma's scarface he called it a pointless bloodbath that aimed only to disgust sicken and horrify the audience with a rampage of violence bloodshed and carnage it is true that some of this criticism can be applied to sandeep's movie the rampage of violence does get exhausting after a point after you've been through the pre interval bloodbath more blood is hardly going to have the same impact and the second half does lose steam because it turns into a more conventional revenge story and the psychological aspects get lost amidst all the bloodletting but with the writer director scores is in throwing in so many unconventional things into the mix that you can't tear your eyes away from the screen there are any number of ways a mole can enter an organization but you will never guess the way this scenario occurs in animal this requires some truly outrageous imagination that truly thinks larger than life this quality is the film's beating heart that body double what an idea after a point the mahabharata peaks in with a war between blood relations there is even a grand yagna the women rashmika mandana as vijay's wife tripti dimri as a lover don't get much to do in arjun reddy we followed the protagonist point of view throughout so when the woman left his life we never saw her again until he met her at the very end there were no cutaway scenes for instance showing what was happening to her in parallel but that is not the case here animal is not written from that kind of subjective viewpoint so we want more from rashmika's character than just slapping her husband around which appears like sandeep answering his arjun reddy critics she does get a solid scene woven around her husband's infidelity but it goes on too long and it does not have the desired impact but think about the reference to her child bearing hips on the surface it sounds crass but that is an evolutionary way of choosing a woman for marriage in the animal kingdom 
The meaning of the title never leaves the film. It's there in the lines, it's there in the behaviors, and it's even there in a brand of underwear. I told you this was a dark comedy. We learn about a killing and then we learn about the reason behind the killing. This is not intended to create suspense, which is usually the case, but to create shock, to keep us off balance. The startling cuts, Sandeep is also the editor, they also help. Even rhythm-wise, we are kept off balance. You could ask if the film really needed so much. What, for instance, if they had edited out the scene with the priest saying that Vijay's days are numbered. But again, you go back to the first scene in black and white, and that's where we see that Vijay lives to be 60. Everything is interconnected. There is a clean vision. If there is a Hindu yagna, there is a Christian priest. We get Sikh relatives. We also get a Muslim wedding. When the hero is almost down and out in a fight, he recalls his father's words and that brings him back to life. This is a grand, all-inclusive masala world, but in a post-millennial way. Like in Kalnayak, the man with villain qualities is the hero, but unlike those earlier movies, the moral lines are very blurred. Vijay is so lost in the wars in his own head, as his wife tells him, that he doesn't seem to have an end goal in mind. Getting his father's approval, that may have been the original end goal, but after a point, after a while, he behaves like a pure animal doing exactly whatever he wants to do, with none of the boundaries of civilization. When his sister is teased, he lets loose a machine gun in school. He tells his wife he will never ever cheat on her, and then he does exactly that. Not even the sight of a pregnant woman whose water has just broken can softer him any more than a lion is going to pity an infant gazelle. Prey is prey. Like Arjun Reddy, Animal appears like a no-hold barge, uncensored wallow inside the director's head. Sandeep definitely seems to be putting bits of himself out there. If Arjun Reddy had a derogatory attitude towards a fat girl, Vijay's father here yells that Vijay is putting on weight like a pig. Sandeep puts out his id. He puts out moments that other directors may be too embarrassed to show that they even think of, even for fictional purposes, like the one where Vijay walks around naked, or when he tells his wife not to remarry after his death, or when he tortures her by tugging and releasing her bra strap. The act leaves red marks on her back, the way Vijay's school teacher's caning left a red mark on his palm. I can't say I liked Animal in its entirety, but amidst so many filmmakers whose work seems either boring or derivative or award-seeking or critical approval-seeking, this rawness, it's exhilarating. I think those of us who like these movies may do so because at least for three hours, they bring out the animal in us that we keep caged at all other times. That's it about Animal. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Holidays Nale, Adinama GT Holidays Ta, South India's number one travel brand. Join the team. Which values you and your thoughts hiring now?